Okay. G'day, I'm Brett. I'm Julio. And I'm Rick. And we're from Creative Aussie Blokes. Today, these boys have come to their favourite location, Ted's Cameras, out of Greensboro. Thank you, boys. Yes, Thank is. you, boys, for coming here. Oh, you're welcome. You. I am drooling yep. right now. I am too. Oh, well, we'll, we'll see what we can impress you with tonight, guys. Yeah. Rick, tell us, mate. Tell us, how long have you been in the store for? Brett, well, yeah, I've been here for 23 years. 20? <laughs> yep. 23, 23 years. Yep. Um, and don't look well, a day old. As a, as a private store operator. Yep. And then as a manager for Ted's Cameras. Oh, fantastic. And, uh, in this, in in this, this location, 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 location yep. Greensboro, Victoria. Yep. The, uh, we have a big customer base. Yep. Customers love coming here. The ones who have been loyal, they stick by us all the time. Fantastic. They don't go anywhere else, they just come in and see Rick Page. Yeah, yes, yes, we do. <laughs> yes. Well, since you've been in the store for so long, how have you seen the cameras change during that period of time? I think, Julio, the, the biggest thing has been the, you know, obviously the digital front. We've gone from film to digital. Mm -hmm. yeah, from digital, we've gone in from um, probably 15 years of, 15 years of growth in, in digital. Now we're going to into that next format of mirror mirrorless technology. Yeah. So the technology, the cameras just keeps evolving. It never stops. We had little we had a couple of years of quietness in technology. Yeah. But you know you think where can we go to next in cameras? Mm. But then there's new there's a new way of going, new technology new technology comes out yeah. and um, suddenly you know there's a new Sony A7, A7Rs, we've got these cameras that can do incredible um, you know incredible feats. That's right, like the GH5. Yeah, GH5, XT3, you know, and Z6s. That new technology is where we're at right now. Yeah. And, um, and that's exciting again. So, you know, you can just keep getting re-inspired again all the time. That's fantastic. And working in this store, what do you sort of go go back to and, and just love looking at and playing with? What's your favourite? I do like going back to some of the Nippon gear. Yep. Um, you know, I sort of grew up on Nippon. I love the Nikon menu, so I have a bit of a, you know, I love my own, I've got a Panasonic gear, I love it because it's mirrorless, but you know, I do like gravitating back to Nikon, yeah. and even the new Zs, or even Nikon V850. Yeah. Well, you've got a, uh, a Canon, an X, well, you're not ex-Canon, are you? What are you still using? I'm still using my Canon, but it's mostly for yeah. still shots. Yeah. I've got a 6D, a 7D, and um, I'm contemplating on going, going to mirrorless. Yeah. And that's the thing, isn't it? If, you got, uh, if you've already yeah. pretty much committed to a system and you've got all these lenses. Mm. Speaking of lenses, Rick, mm. how about you take us over, let's have a look at some of your favourite. Come on over. Favorite. All right, let's go. Let's grab these cameras. Yes. And um, yeah. I'll grab the, the GH5, because yeah. that's an amazing yeah. camera. <laughs> Back onto the lenses now, and also the Canon range, Canon. Over here, see? And over here we have Brett, the Nikon, beautiful range of Nikol, Nikol lenses. Uh, so we have Nikol, Canon, Canon, Sony, Tamron, Olympus, Sigma. We have a very extensive range for our shop. Uh, if we don't have it in stock, we can get it. So Rick, what are your favourite lenses? My favourite lenses are always the classic lenses. And those lenses are your, uh, your Canon 2470 f2.8 Series 3 lens. It's the new generation. It's, um, that's one of them. You know, your 7200 2.8, these are your musts. And mm. probably your 1635. Um, mine's the f4 lens. The macro lenses are always nice. So you've got your L-series macro f2.8 and your 100mm macro, always 100mm in Canon. Uh, F2.8s, uh, two nice lenses, but the L's a lot nicer because it's got the stabiliser as well. And being that L glass, it comes out of a different factory, it's made to a different level. So if you want sharpness and want the best in the macro, that's one of my favourite lenses actually, the 100mm uh, L. Okay, so he's pushed the big red button on his Fujifilm X-T3, thanks Wills. Rick, he's going to talk to us about um, the mirrorless section. Yep. The exciting yep. mirrorless. First of all guys, the mirror, just so you know, there's something happened this year for the first time in history. Mirrorless cameras outsold mirror cameras early in the year. So exponentially in the world market now. 2019. 2019. Mirrorless cameras are going this way and 
mirror cameras are going that way. Mm. So, and that's only going to happen more and more. Hence, with um, last year, Canon having the EOS R, RP coming out and they come with the Z6 and Z7 that are really high-end level enthusiast cameras. They're not for the, for the low end and they've got that market now. So you're only going to see it grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Mm. Already, you've already got Panasonic and Olympus in the market already. They're making a fourth, a thing called a four-third sensor and they've got a big range of lenses available. They've got three or four models with each within their range and there's a big price range to, to choose from, from $1,000 up to um, $5,000. Mm. Then you go into the AFS SI sensor, uh, which is what Fuji and Sony are making, and 20, at 24 megapixels, um, beautiful range of lenses, a little bit more the enthusiast level of uh, photographer, very classic, very classic in their design, very classic in the way you, you use the camera with the shutter speeds, the apertures, a nice piece of glass to start off with, and that's a good example of a nice camera, the X-T30 actually, mm. shoots in 4K. That's the baby of the X-T3 that is the shooting that on right that's now. That's right. Mm. But, Fantastic. Uh, what, what a nice camera to walk around with, yep. very nice, and it's a nice piece of the glass to put onto it as well. Well, your loyal customers will probably come in and buy one. Uh, you go, whoops, there. You go to the top end and you go and buy a Sony A7 Mark III, well, this is really at, at a starting point in a full frame. So now we're into a camera that's got the largest sensor. Uh, you can go put nice pieces of glass onto it. Well now you could be shooting professionally, you could be doing a wedding, mm. you could be doing studio work, um, and you want the best, you're going to shoot with a full, uh, full frame camera. And that's what the A7 and their whole range are all about, all the 7 Series and the Sonys. Mm. And I had an A uh, an A65 Sony yep. the other day, a mirror camera, and absolutely beautiful, yep. um, beautiful yeah, shots. Yeah. And for yeah. what that camera had on it ten years ago when it came out, mm. just the, the in the function in the menu, uh, you know, and had the partial red option and all that sort of thing. Mm. Ten, ten years ago was just a fantastic yes. menu. Have really. You, have you ever had a Sony ever Sony before? You should hold that. I think you should hold that, Brett. Feel the power. You might, you might change. Hey, uh, I might turn to the dark side, right? Yeah. It's uh, got a, it's got a decent little grip. This one. Yeah, it has. Yeah. Yep. The A7 Mark III, and I know it, it is a very popular uh, camera for you guys out there, and and for video as well, isn't it? That's right. Very good. I mean, it's no flip out lens um, Lumix, but it's still, it's, it's a lovely, beautiful camera, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not always going to talk someone into buying a full frame camera. It doesn't suit everybody. You're doing sports and action photography, you probably need the crop sensor because it gives you more reach in your lenses. So basically, as you're going through the cameras and your lenses there, yep. say you've got a person that comes in, basic, half amateur, starting off, what would you recommend to go with a new camera? Yep. What's, what's your name, sir? Julio. I'm Rick. Hi, Rick. Let's see, let's see, what, we can, let's see what we can do for you today. Okay, thank okay. you. Uh, we'll pick up this camera to start off with, okay? So yeah. it is the 90, Canon 90D. So the 90D is your high performance sports camera, weather sealed, Wi Fi technology, and shoots in 4K. I also noticed that um, there's a lot of black. Uh, black is the preference of a camera because black is non reflective. So no chance of a, like a blue? No aqua? No aqua. No yeah. white. Just black. Just for black. I got the choice of black, black and black today. No. Although they do make white lenses. <laughs> okay. But that's another story. But fantastic, Rick. Yep. Thanks so much for having us in your store. No, it's a pleasure. And, and gentlemen, you're welcome here anytime. Ask any questions. And well, we my, are loyal my, customers, my, my customers, right? Customers, well, my customers are all welcome to come back and, and just come and chat. Come okay. and have a coffee with come a trick. Come and talk to the, and my chat. And, and, and my people start right. with tents too. Yes. <laughs> nice. You must have a lot of coffees. No, I don't need coffee. <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> Just buy him cake. That's fine. <laughs>